I think the takeaway here is that we just need to be really careful about the things that we engage with online, especially when they fit with, you know, our political ideals. I'm Adri Corti and welcome back to my YouTube channel. The goal of my channel is to make academia entertaining and accessible for you. So if that sounds good, please make sure to comment and like and subscribe. A big conversation during COVID has been misinformation and disinformation. So we're gonna talk a little bit about that today and then play a game that sort of addresses some of those ideas. So misinformation and disinformation, actually I recently learned are two very distinct and different things. So misinformation is when someone is sharing incorrect information kind of innocently. They don't realize it's incorrect, but they are sharing it. But disinformation is when someone is on purpose sharing information that is incorrect, probably to try to influence in a certain way. And this can be pretty insidious. So today I'm gonna to be playing a game called Bad News. Um, so what is bad news? The website says, in bad news, this game, you take on the role of a fake news monger. So basically what you're trying to do is drop all pretenses of your ethics and choose a path that builds your persona as sort of like a media magnate. And so you're supposed to keep an eye on your followers and credibility meters. And your task is to get as many followers as you can while slowly building up fake credibility as a news site. But watch out, you lose if you tell obvious lies or disappoint your supporters. Goal of the game is to expose the tactics and manipulation techniques that are used to mislead people and build up a following. Bad news works as a psychological vaccine against disinformation. Playing it builds cognitive resistance against common forms of manipulation that you might encounter online. Okay, so I have never played this game. I've never seen anybody play this game. So I was a little nervous to even start this video because I'm like, I don't know what to expect, but we're gonna figure it out together what this game is all about. Okay, let's start. Okay, it says, hi there, good to see you. Hey, um, who are you? You're here for the position of disinformation and fake news tycoon, is that correct? I'm gonna be like, what? <laughs> so disinformation has lots of different aspects. It's about much more than just fake news. Don't worry, it'll become very clear soon. Got it. You're probably frustrated about something, right? Aren't we all? You can get started by using Twitter to vent. I'm gonna post a frustrated tweet. This government is a complete and utter failure. Hashtag resign, losers. And kind of true. <laughs> okay, tweet this. Look, your constructive criticism of the government got you a few followers. And more followers means more influence. Okay, what do I do next? Okay, look at your meter. People don't find you very credible yet. To gain some real influence, you'll need to raise your credibility. How? I'll show you. To start, to gain notoriety, we can start by borrowing someone else's credibility. What do you want to do? So I can either fake an official Twitter account or impersonate someone important. I'm gonna impersonate someone. <laughs> Is that bad that I chose that? I don't care, okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm gonna impersonate Joe Biden. As your president, I have issued an executive order to rename Canada to North North Dakota. Hashtag you got annexed. <laughs> <laughs> Should we do this one? No, that seems too crazy, right? Like no one's gonna believe that, so not this one. Okay, NASA, meteorite alert. Large space objects set to hit US West Coast. Hashtag be safe. Well, people are gonna believe that? Yes. I feel like I need something a little bit more believable. We are announcing the immediate and permanent cancellation of SpongeBob SquarePants. Hashtag I'm ready. Okay, let's do that one. I feel like it's been on for a million years. People will believe that. Okay, so that should scare the hell out of the SpongeBob's fan base. Did you notice Nickelodeon's slightly different username? Yes, you can scroll back up to check. So let's look. Yeah, so it has like that, like it doesn't have an O, it has like the zero with an asterisk through. So we're starting to learn that we need to look out for differences in usernames. Looks like he fooled some Twitter users. Let's have a look at how they're reacting. Okay, so Jane, they're canceling SpongeBob, what madness is this? Hashtag I'm not ready. 
at Nickelodeon are idiots. How dare they take SpongeBob away from us? Hashtag you will pay for this. Got him. How are you feeling? I feel pretty good. I feel like telling people that SpongeBob is being canceled, like I don't have moral obje moral objections to that. Like it's a show. Versus if I had tweeted out that like an asteroid is gonna hit the West Coast, people can freak out about that. Like that seems way more insidious. So I think I'm feeling pretty good. Me too, but you can't keep imit imitating people forever. What's, in, what's the next step? I, I wanna do this, let's see. Good, to have you on the team, where do we begin? Well, let's start, should we start a news site or start a blog? I'm not even checking my likes. Okay, I have 69 likes. My credibility is still terrible. <laughs> Let's start a new site. That, because a blog is someone's like, like just what they're feeling. But if you say it's news, then I feel like that will build my credibility. Okay, every serious news site has a name. What's yours? The best words, bursting the mainstream media bubble. Honest truth online, what they don't want you to read. <laughs> Oof. The Cosmos Post, worldwide insight. Okay, this one. Okay, so what will be your job title at the Cosmos Post? Editor in chief. Looks like you're all set up. Other news sites are beginning to notice you as well. Utopia Today said now, new in the fight against the hashtag fake mainstream, the Cosmos post. Best new news website around. Thanks. The Democratic People's Republic supports the brilliant work of the Cosmos post. Hashtag good news. Wow, I'm pretty good at this. Good job, chief. The Cosmos post has now become the basis of your fake news empire. Do you see how easy it is to impersonate a credible news source? You just build a website and then call it, you know, News Today or the Cosmos post, and people think that you're real news. Ooh, okay, so now I have a new technique master called impersonation. Most people pay little attention to sources. As a purveyor of disinformation, you can use that to your advantage. All right. So now I have impersonation. Okay, so it says the world is your oyster chief, but the Cosmos post needs con content. Time to post your first article. I have 205 likes already, wow. Okay, unbelievable, the lies of ants, the joy of routine. The 25 most popular shows. Breaking, president to visit Luxembourg early next year. I think this one, yeah. I'm gonna go political. Yawn, boring, who cares? Okay, that was too boring, no one cares. <laughs> it says it didn't work, your article didn't use any manipulation techniques, so it didn't go very far. Let's try again, what kind of content do you want to publish? I guess emotional content, because if I posted serious content, then Kurt from Twitter said it was boring, so emotional. So excellent choice, let's make people mad by attacking something, what do you want to do? I wanna browse exploitable news headlines. So, scientists, climate change could have a serious negative impact on our way of life. Genetically modified foods pose no risk to human health, experts say in the new report. Ooh, let's attack that one. <laughs> because people, I don't think, truly understand GMOs and they're just scared of anything that's genetically modified, regardless of if they understand what it is. So let's attack it. So what's your opinion on genetically modified organisms? We have to say they will bring about the Apocalypse. Get my likes up, so I need to say something that's super like polarizing. You're so right. Genetic modification is going way too far. What's next? Genetically modified pets? It's crazy. Time to rally the crowd. Exploiting people's basic emotions usually works. What's your approach? Um, let's get emotional because I could attack scientists, I could talk about GMO science, or I could get emotional. So let's. Or would that make me less credible? Hmm. I'm gonna just talk about GMO science to make myself more credible maybe, even though I might construe it in a way that, okay, so it says don't do that. <laughs> this is about emotion, save the nerd talk for later, choose something else. Okay, let's uh, get emotional then. It's always good to start with emotional stories, choose your um, weapon, let's make a meme. Okay, so we all know a meme is a humorous piece of media, usually an image or a gif that spreads from person to person on the internet. So let's make one. I got it. We've got a couple options. So this man is devastated. He lost his whole family to GMO food. No. GMO meat harmless. My dog is fighting for his life. <laughs> what? GMO food makes me so sad. What? Okay, so let's post on our news site. So personal confessions evoke empathy. You got a couple of followers. How do you think they'll react? Okay, let's see. Stories like this keep popping up when the government is doing nothing. Hashtag GMOs, hashtag GMO hoax. The Cosmos post, sorry about your family. What a horrifying story. 
Your followers look like they're ready to blow, and all you did was play into their basic emotions a bit. And it's just a meme of some guy I probably found on Google. <laughs> Like, there's just no evidence that that happened. Let's keep going. Now that you get the idea, what basic emotion do you want to exploit next? Fear is always a good one. See, vitamin C pills contain nuclear waste. Okay, I'm posting. See, the content doesn't really matter. It's the use of emotional language that gets you followers. Emotional content can be extremely effective if you want your news to go viral. <gasps> So now I have 435 likes and my credibility is going up. So now that your followers are duly enraged, I made them upset, how about we give them another push? Let's do it. So that's the spirit. What do you want get to get people worked up about? Something fake or something real? Let's do something real because I want my credibility to go up. I don't always have to make everything up myself. Yes, it's often easier to blow an existing story way out of proportion by playing into people's emotions and political biases, okay? Social media is full of potential scandals that you can amplify. Let's drive left and right apart. The center is no longer an option. I don't think the center should ever be an option. <laughs> okay. Find a Twitter controversy. That's the second accidental chemical spill in four months. Our town's river is quite turning a bit yellow. So that lady had 31 followers. So I'm, I want to decide which one I'm going to choose based on how many followers they have, maybe. So they're building a new power plant in my town, but no one wants it here. Bribery, maybe? Wow, just saw the police arrest a guy. Scary stuff. Hashtag, are we safe? No, we ain't. <laughs> okay, so those are my only options. Uh, no, I'm gonna do Joe, this guy, because he has 33 followers, which is the most. And he's like kind of being like, oh, bribery maybe, with no evidence of that. So he's sort of like stirring things up. Um, let's see this one. So it's easy to turn his story into a huge scandal. I have to decide which angle. So every story we're hearing as a villain. Joe's story has two possible angles. Either corporations are to blame or the government is. What's your target? Let's do big corporations. Are I always my target? <laughs> so a traditionally left wing angle. Good choice, but you could have gone with a right wing angle just as well. It doesn't matter. Choose a side and demonize your target as much as possible. Okay. Joe's case points out some clear issues with corporate influence in this country. Hashtag bribery scandal. So it went from like Joe being like, oh, bribery maybe question mark to me outright being like, it's a bribery scandal. Like I knew it for sure. Well, that was a dud. Nobody cares about Joe because your tweet doesn't use any buzzwords. You need to pump up those numbers. I thought scandal was a buzzword. How? Let's see. Let's just do what we do best. Playing in people's emotions. Choose your weapon and don't be afraid to exaggerate. Let's do an article because you already did a meme. So corporation building polluting power plant. Power plant might be in violation of local building code. That's too boring. Multinational destroying local town to build huge power plant. That one's good. Okay, so this one definitely out of those three you can see has like the most emotional words like destroying local town to build huge power plant. Yes, they said it's a good choice. There's like panic and words and caps locks. So now my followers are slowly picking up on Joe's story. I've got quite a few new followers, but not enough. You can do better. Let's see. I'm going to say fix it for me. How about we program a couple of thousand Twitter bots to retweet and like Joe in the Cosmos post? <laughs> That's awful. But yes, because then it will seem like a lot more people care about this than they actually do. Sounds good to me. Oh, I got 4,000 extra followers because I made them. Like I made a bunch of Twitter bots. Wow, that's kind of scary. They can make any small story look huge. Want to see how they work? Yes. Check bot tweets. Joe is right. Big corporations are to blame for this disaster. Hashtag bribery scandal, hashtag free Joe. Big corporations are ruining this beautiful land. How can we live like this? Hashtag Joe is right, hashtag bribery scandal. Yeah, that's insane. Nice, that worked. It looks like your followers are falling for it. So now real people like Kurt, which we've seen before, like true hash or at Joe Robot and at Nina Sim One, big corporations are making a total mess of support from right wing crazies. Hashtag bribery scandal. Wow. So everyone is believing me. They fell for it. Hashtag bribery scandal is trending on Twitter and you've destroyed all nuance in the debate. <laughs> well done. Like my friend tried to make a Twitter account for something that was real and it thought she was a bot because it didn't have like a photo. But I mean, if that's like all the criteria you need, like all the bot accounts I just showed had pictures that I don't know what Twitter is doing to stop bots. Hopefully a lot. <laughs> 
So now I have the polarization technique. I've amplified an isolated tweet into a full-blown Twitter scandal and are driving left and right apart. So I'm moving on up. I have over 4,000 followers. Um, but what you lack is a dedicated group of followers for the Cosmo post, Cosmos post. How do you get one? Become a conspiracy theorist. <laughs> Good choice. My credibility went up when I did that. So that's weird. Uh, conspiracy theories can be a great way of spreading disinformation. Want to try one out? Yes. It may be worthwhile to put a theory out there and see what happens. So we can try alien dinosaurs helped build the pyramids. <laughs> no, that seems like too much, right? Juice boxes are laced with LSD to keep us subdued. I do like that one. That seems like people would believe that. Schools no longer teach cursive so kids can't read the communist manifesto. <laughs> no, that one's too silly. Like, I feel like the LSD one is like, people would believe that, that the, like the government was doing that. Okay, so let's do that one. Okay, so they said, that's good. How are your followers reacting? They're like, what a stupid story. I just drank a sip of juice and guess what? Still not hallucinating. Hashtag idiots. Dang it. Wow. The Cosmos post went from being a good alternative to the hashtag MSM to being completely nuts in like a day. Dang it. Maybe I should have chosen one that they couldn't so easily check. Like they could have just, you know, went out and drank some juice and then like, that's not true. My followers are not buying it. Maybe your theory is too disconnected from reality. Dang it. So apparently t talking about that juice conspiracy wasn't a good idea, but I did it. <laughs> so now we need to get back on track. So what did I do wrong? The problem is that you weren't aiming for an ideological filter bubble. You have to lure people in bit by bit. So what'll be the next step? Let's start with something more realistic. It's a good conspiracy starts out with something realistic and expands on that. Who do you want to attack? Let's do a large international organization. If I do, if I target something large, like a faceless organization, I can manipulate my source material and craft a believable theory. The COVID-19 coronavirus has been declared a pandemic. Please make sure to wash your hands and isolate yourself if you experience symptoms. United Nations, the UN will be doubling its efforts in the next few years to comply with goals set in hashtag Agenda 21. Okay, let's do the coronavirus pandemic one. Um, so I guess I'm gonna be attacking the World Health Organization. So the World Health Organization is warning people about coronavirus. So my followers will be susceptible to a bit of fear mongering. But remember, start out with something vaguely realistic. Okay, but why not spread a bit of fear and loathing about the disease? So what I could say is, at who, when are you guys going to comment on the accusations that hashtag COVID-19 is a manufactured bioweapon? <laughs> oh, let's see some other ones. Unbelievable. World Health Organization is ignoring that the virus is a plot by Big Pharma to make more profits. They're killing us like cockroaches with this virus and we're supposed to be grateful. Hashtag over our dead antibodies. Ooh, I feel like the Big Pharma one is like the most believable one. There's no evidence to support your claim doesn't matter if it gets your followers. How are your followers reacting? Um, World Health Organization, why exactly aren't you responding to the Cosmos Post tweet? Hashtag suspicious. Hashtag coronavirus. Kurt is saying, I already had my doubts about hashtag coronavirus, but I'm happy that the Cosmos post shares my concerns. Hashtag question more, hashtag big pharma. Looking good so far. So after this little trial balloon, how about publishing a proper news article on the Cosmos post? Yes. So now I can post an article on my news site and say coronavirus may pose a risk. Scientists debate seriousness. The coronavirus cover up what they don't want you to know. That was a popular one. So extra coronavirus tests known to cause nerve damage. Oh, so I don't think this one is the best one because I don't think I'm ever supposed to say scientists are debating something. People don't like that. I, they want something that's definitive and scary. That's what my followers want. Yeah, I think the nerve damage one is like too unbelievable because they probably, my followers know someone who's gotten a COVID test and they're not gonna believe that. Let's do the coronavirus cover up what they don't want you to know. I feel like that will be a good one. So they say it's very creative. It looks like you're gaining a real following. Yee. So Amanda says, I can recommend the latest article on the Cosmos post about hashtag coronavirus. It's the only site that tells you the truth. Hashtag World Health Organization. Ooh. Thanks, Amanda. <laughs> Jose says, guys, I love your content about hashtag coronavirus. You're telling us what the hashtag lamestream media is hiding. Thanks, Jose. Well, you certainly have got Amanda and Jose convinced. Customer loyalty is important. Okay, so I've successfully used manipulation to make my followers believe a conspiracy theory. Things are looking up for the Cosmos post. And my credibility meter is so high. Oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs>
A well-crafted lie published at the right time makes people lose trust in institutions. So let's see. Whoops, we're running into a bit of a problem. What's up? Some fact checker has taken notice of the Cosmos post. Seriously, you have to look at this. Oh no. Fact check online says the Cosmos post is spreading lies. Coronavirus story has been debunked. Hashtag pants on fire. No, dang it. Okay, what do I do? I can apologize, nothing, take revenge. I think I need to take revenge. Striking back is definitely the way to go. How? I can deny our allegations. I think I should attack the fact checker. Definitely, people like that. So nothing like a scathing personal attack. How about you write a little expose about fact check online? Let's do it. I can say they that fact check online ev evaded taxes. Corporate tax not paid for five years. Fact check online editor drowns puppy. We have pictures. <laughs> How do they have pictures of that? <laughs> what? I'm kind of tempted to do that to do that one because I want to see the picture like. Is it like a cartoon of like a stick figure <laughs> drowning a puppy? And they're like, we swear this is fact check online. Oh my gosh, managers film beating staff. Okay, let's try one where they actually have to show a video or a photo because I'm really curious about how they're going to do that. Great job, no one recovers from accusations like that. And look, your followers are rushing to your defense now. Amanda says, you guys are just the worst. Treat people like people for God's sake. Hashtag gulag. <laughs> the Cosmos post was saints compared to the Stalinist labor camp that is fact check online, hashtag go away. Oh my gosh, and now the fact that checker is playing defense. Oh my gosh, okay, so the fact checker is like, these allegations are categorically untrue. Hashtag innocent, hashtag nothing but facts. I'm so confused though, like, is it, they had a video, is it like, maybe it's like a fake video where you can't see people's faces and people just believed it. So I've discredited that pesky fact checker and drawn attention away from the Cosmos post because now everyone's like upset at fact check online because they think they beat their staff. Awesome. So I discredited them and I defended myself against attacks by going on a ruthless counter offensive. I'm getting really good at this. I have over 5,000 followers. My credibility is so high. So let's see how far I can take these skills that I've learned. I wanna get 10,000 followers before the game's over. We'll see. So let's keep playing offense and lob a real barrage of content at our opponents. So researchers discover new species of starfish with even more legs. No one cares about that. Breaking, passenger plane disappears off the radar. Many fear dead. The 25 most romantic cities in Europe now. I need to do like the fear mongering one and get people interested and scared to get followers. Awesome. So it's a lot of emotions to exploit. So what do I want to do? Empath empathize with the victims or so doubt. So the Cosmos Post says source. One of the plane's passengers was recently fired for whistleblowing. Hashtag investigate now. Hashtag plane crash. This could easily be a CIA false flag operation. Oof. They're killing us like we're bugs. Chemicals in the water, plane murders. They hold us all, they hold all the power. Okay, that one's very emotional and scary. Okay, I think I have to choose that one because that is just like, so like, I'm like bringing up chemicals in the water. What does that even mean? Plane murders? <laughs> yes, I think this will scare people the most. Oh, dang it. It made me look like a lunatic. Dang it. I need to choose ones that are more believable. Like I keep choosing ones that make me seem like I'm literally insane. Like the LSD and the juice and now this. My followers seem to like it. This guy says, are we next? Who's watching the watchers? Kim says, the Cosmo post is so right. Wait, I thought they were not gonna like it. We're just fishing in barrels to the rich and powerful. Oh God, thanks the Cosmos post. Oh, I got away with it. <laughs> oh no, my apparently my followers are just as crazy as I am. Some large alternative media outlets are beginning to pick up on my story. So Utopia Tomorrow says, we are too highly suspicious of the cause of the hashtag plane crash. Hashtag investigate now. Cosmos post has the right idea. The victims deserve the truth. Dig deeper. Oh my gosh, the, the debate is getting heated and everyone is using your hashtag, hashtag investigate now, what's next? Okay, so I can either Photoshop evidence or impersonate a victim. Impersonating a victim seems a little dark um, and I am insane, but I'm not rude. So I'm just gonna Photoshop evidence. So they said it's a good choice. Using doctored images as evidence is a tried and true disinformation technique. So let's see what we can do. So one, <laughs> 
Okay, that one's terrible. It's like two planes and this guy like shooting a bazooka at it. No. This one is like a plane that has like another plane on top of it that has like a bomb on it. <laughs> These are awful. Oh no. Okay, I like this one because it's like a plane and then they're drawing stuff and like it's obviously no one has any idea what these symbols mean, but it seems like the person drawing it might have knew known what the symbols meant. So you're like, you know, I don't understand, but this person seems like an expert. Okay, so I'm definitely gonna do this one. Even the lowest of mainstream media are weighing in on the story now. Okay, so the evening news, cause of the crash still unclear. Rumors of cover up gaining steam. So apparently a real news outlet did this. Keep increasing the pressure, you've almost got them. What's next? I can discredit the investigation or use a Twitter bot army. I'm gonna discredit the investigation because I already used a bot army once and I have like 6,000 followers. So I'm gonna tweet, it's clear the investigation is covering something up. The victims deserve the truth. Hashtag plane crash, hashtag investigate now. So I'm whipping up a storm. People don't trust the investigation anymore. What started out as an accident has become a huge cover up in the minds of news consumers. Oof, living it, loving it. <laughs> so will you do the honors and deliver the final blow? Okay, so I can impersonate a victim or fake evidence of cover up. So I'm gonna impersonate a victim because I already faked like a picture of like evidence. So, try posing as a grieving family member on Twitter to discredit the authorities. Oh, this one feels like so icky, like just so gross. Like, ugh. Okay, so I can impersonate a victim's brother and impersonate a victim's mother. Let's go mother. I'm Marianne now. My 23-year-old daughter died in this disaster. The authorities are showing no sympathy for my pain. Hashtag resign, hashtag investigate now. This is like so insidious. Like I know a lot of this has been insidious, like lying about COVID, you know, having bots, like making up fake evidence, but like someone actually impersonating a, like a victim's family member to like gain traction about a story is so gross. And I didn't actually really consider this as a thing that people were doing as disinformation. Like obviously when I see stuff like, you know, don't vaccinate your kids, hashtag they, I know the truth, hashtag do your own research. Okay, that feels like very clear to me what that person's trying to do. When horrific things happen, and families of the victim are tweeting out. I never have thought that was fake. This is making me really question a lot of stuff that I see online and that I need to check basically everything that I interact with online to make sure it is true, especially on Twitter when I'm interacting with a lot of like people I don't follow but are just happen to be trending because something is trending. So it's important to always even look when it seems like, oh, why would someone lie about this? To check just to make sure. So I'm tweeting out that I lost my daughter. The committee responsible for the air crash investigation is responding to the controversy now. So I got, we take the concerns very seriously, but can make no further statements right now. Hashtag plane crash. That looks suspicious. You've got them back on their heels, right where they belong. Just one more little push. So I can call for resignation or use Twitter bots. Call for resignation. So I'm saying the Aviation Disaster Committee is deliberately avoiding questions. The chairman needs to resign right now. Good job, and look, a press alert just came in. It says, the national newspaper, the chairman of Aviation Disaster Committee resigns as a scandal engulfs government. Wow. So I fabricated a national scandal with nothing but a few well-placed clicks. Your Twitter army is dominating the debate. Nice. So here we are at the close. Thank you for playing. It's been an honor working with you. Hope to see you again someday. I want my badge. So I got my trolling uh, <laughs> technique mastered. My opponents are completely lost. I've used a variation of different disinformation techniques and deliberately caused societal distrust and chaos. Wow. I ended up with a 10.269. I think I did pretty good. Is that good? <laughs> uh, or the techniques that I gained today was impersonation, emotion, polarization, conspiracy, and discredit, and trolling. So that was actually a really cool exercise. You know, you might wanna play yourself and see what score you can get. I think the takeaway here is that we just need to be really careful about the things that we engage with online, especially when they fit with, you know, our political ideals. This is something I'm still working on. When I see a story that aligns with how I already feel that I still need to investigate and make sure, is this true? So I'll put some links down below to some stuff I've recently found out about disinformation, like different tools you can use to figure out if something is real or fake um, when it comes to a lot of different things online, including articles. Hopefully this was fun. You guys should play too. So I have a lot of stuff coming up on the channel. So I'm going to 
gonna do a video about mental health and academia. I'm gonna do a video where I talk about an episode for maintenance phase. So if that sounds interesting, make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for what's next. Uh, let me know in the comments down below. Did you guys like the game? Did you play it yourself? What score did you get? Um, and did you learn something about disinformation and how to combat it? I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.